Hello, Hello internetians. What's up? Oh, oh um, I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> this is technically your solo series. Um, yeah, technically. We, we can uh, chat, but I'll be quiet during most of it. Um, kind of like how, uh, uh, To the Moon, I was quiet during most of it. Yeah. Every now and then so, I said um, something. This is Nathan Plays Transistor. Mm -hmm. And, um... <laughs> We've been playing Pyre on stream. And recently, well, not recently, but when I first played this game, I was so wowed by the visuals, the mechanics, the characters, that I was like, okay, I'm, I'm either getting this, or, uh... Playing it fully on a series. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna pull this slightly closer. Yeah, good idea. So, the first um, episode will be slightly longer than 15 minutes, because we're giving an excessively long intro. Um, speaking of intros, play that real quick. Alright, thanks. So, this is Transistor. If I don't sound excited, Shit. I only got six hours of sleep last night. Yeah, it is the new year, so we are starting it off right with a new game. Yeah, new year, new game. That's my motto. I'm going to be keeping tabs on the time with my watch. A handy-dandy watch that I've had for the longest time. Yep. I'll stop delaying. Um, you got hey, Red. We're not gonna get away with this, are we? Come on, pull. There. If you want to Together change, again. Change the volume. Uh, the Swirl. Yeah. 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 As beautiful and stunning as the is. Probably significantly more beautiful if you're not hearing it twice. <laughs> yeah, no, too. Okay, just refiguring, um... Remembering how to play. Yeah, the controls on how to play. See you later, John. Alright, take it easy. Yikes. Found us already. Uh, right. They want you back, I know. Well, so do I. Yep. Run again. Ah, Bless me. Ah, phew. So this is a game. Okay, let's go. One more deli. East to the bay. I think I know where we are. <laughs> Nathan what made it a pretty place? decent way into this. Look, don't fret, just... To the point where he understood some of the story, but not all of it. There should still be some good uh, plot twists for Nathan to experience with everyone here watching. Right trigger to something. Did it tell me how to enter that mode? I think it's right trigger. There you go. So what's interesting about this game is there's a lot of um programming references. Uh like for instance the brackets after everything implies method names. It's a programming reference. Alright. Here we go. And when they say process terminated, that's obviously also a computer thing. Mm -hmm. Hey, up there. This. Hello, what's, world. What's the. <laughs> that's a. That. That's a damn good. Program. We're on the edge of town. One that Hello everyone walks away. Yeah. Hello, world is the first uh, program that you create if you uh, write code. It's usually your tutorial the thing. Set. Still too close to it. We better get as far from there as possible. For me, it was actually this thing called J-Robot. Um, that was interesting. Block party up ahead. Block. Here we go. I think it's... She awake? No, it's not circle. One of the buttons uh, undoes okay. what you did in those turn planning phases. Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember which sure. one Yeah. I'll tell she you next time the menu pops up. We can use her. It's interesting how people... Intersection. Are Let's see. Mm -hmm. She says hello. Her name's Lily. 
Absolutely. Okay, it's left trigger. Okay. that song. I'm so sorry, Red. Interesting. They took your voice. I couldn't stop them. But we took something of theirs. Hey, let's just go. So, like, oh, here we go. It's interesting how when you pause, the music stops, but you hear her voice. Have you noticed that? This game knows damn well how to do, uh, or these developers in general, know damn well how to do uh, music that if, uh, evolves based on how you play, you know? Because Pyre has the songs that change based on your choices, you know, and where you're facing. And this game has, if you notice it when you go into the slow-mo thing, you can hear her voice but the music cuts out. Mm -hmm. This is a really neat effect. Okay, side street to east, through there. So if anyone's wondering why Nathan's so good at this, I had plenty of practice. He had some experience. He played it one night while I was just... I was like, hey, you want to try this thing? Let's buy, let's buy these really good developers. <laughs> and then... He just ended up playing it for most, most of the night. Got to the first boss, I think. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Hey, Mr. Moyle. The thing is about him, he's a bitter leaf, is um, eventually you figure out that. Okay, so we got that. Uh, when do we get to the menu? Yeah. Oh. Sure. You have to have four, five abilities first. Uh, okay. Yeah. When it teaches you how to do that. Oh no. Please. Cut off we're gonna be kind of hard Tough guy. with uh without any ability customizing yet which ass <laughs> oh shit Oh, you're still alive, you piece of... You creep. <laughs> it's also funny how, uh... The enemies have names like Creep and Jerk. <laughs> it's like, yes, the main character did in fact name them. <laughs> Combos in this. <laughs> it's so aesthetic. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so we get secondary abilities. I believe the last one I took was this one, masked or mask. Uh, it has stealth related properties, I believe. It does. Bounce function chain reactive deflecting. Active slot effect. Discharge a ricocheting bolt that jumps from target to target. Upgrade slot effect. Add a chain reactive effect to most functions. We'll take this one this time. Bounce. We're still here. Bounce, bounce, baby. Bounce back to me. Okay, you're in. Okay. 
So you guess how we how this works. So what do I want to set up bouncing to? Probably this one. We're gonna take most likely yeah uh, the range one upgrade. You baby. And also, where can I set up? Oh, did it do it? What? Oh yeah, it did it. Um, I want to set up exactly. Where what loadout it is? Yeah, exactly. The uh, yeah, remove them. Just okay. remove them all and start over. It's a lot simpler. Okay, so basic attack. Um, wonder if you can continue the game without anything range. equipped. Uh, yeah, you can. No, I want this one to be that. Hmm. Um, what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out how you had it last time. Yeah, no, I'm trying to. F oh shit! So this is B. Uh, we want B to be the dash. Makes sense. And we want this one. Your ranged one. Mm, to be X. So un unequip the other one then. X mm -hmm. is square. I hope you know that. Mm -hmm. This okay. one square. That's yeah. what I meant. All right. And that's the heavy to... is going to be triangle. There we go. And then, ooh, I wonder what a bounce of the of this would look like. All right. Good. Just one more block. I want to show you something. Know, right. Where are we going? That's what I like. Doesn't really give off any. Uh, Try using it on the wall. See what happens then. Yeah, no. Uh, I didn't notice anything. It could be a chain reaction when you okay. uh, There's a hit an enemy. Hidden action. Yeah, no, I don't see any difference. Yeah, it's probably not the best one. You know, it explains what it does in that menu. Yeah, it adds. It said to most effects. Designation. Jerk. Jerk. Level two. All right. What do you think of the characters? The uh, red and I don't know what the guy's name is. Oh, um, I like the way they act, the way they interact. Mm -hmm. Here he comes. I like the the narrator there. I like how Red is a singer who lost her voice, right? Yeah, it's like she's Ariel. Yeah. But in a much darker exactly. situation. Oh yeah, definitely. And a bit of more of a badass too. Mm. Um, and I like how the guy, uh, is just kind of acts as her voice, and he's kind of a smartass, but quietly so, and he doesn't put any emotion into it, you know? And I did, uh, name my oh, there we go. fox companion in my, in our most recent D&D campaign, after Red, so... Combo. All right. Nice. That's so your combos can apply to those who you've attacked in close combat at range. The backstab combo, I think, applied yeah. to the jerk. All huh. right. So we're going to actually change this. Right. Yeah. And put it on this guy. That makes sense. The ricochet. So, melee, range, dash, heavy. Alright. Back, 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 back. <laughs> That's our way out. They have. They're okay. like E64 people. On ramp. They react down. not the like robots. Right. Yeah, which is ironic since that guy kind of talks like yeah. a robot. Exactly. Thanks for the lift. You got it like a <laughs> 
This will be a good outro right here. Yeah. It's turn left. Thought we were gonna skip town. We're going back there. You've met these things. They do not have a sense of humor. Wow. It's nothing you drag you down. <laughs> Aesthetic so, of this game. <laughs> how do we uh, quit out of the quit out of the recording? Uh, give me a second. Let it just finish loading. Cause you'll probably want to pause. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <sighs> Poor bike. Just ten more blocks to the set. There we go. So uh, stay interesting. <laughs>